Move my knees and take my arms up. Hold the legs there as you take the arms out to the side. Straighten the legs and lower the arms. So we float the arms, take them out and lower. So we float, take them out and lower. Float, take them out and lower. Now on this one, I want you to think about those shoulders. Okay, so keep your shoulders as relaxed as you can. Okay, and make sure those knees are going over the toes. Keep the belt on because then you're nice and stable through the center. Should we change direction? Can we do it the other way? Out to the side, bring them round, then lower. Out to the side, bring them round, then lower. And again, out to the side, bring them round. Let's just do one more. Out to the side, bring them round, and lower. Wonderful. Okay, this time we're going to bend the elbows. We're going to tuck the elbows into the waist. Okay, and we're going to have the hands out to the side. So the palms are facing up for this one. We're going to do those knee bends again. And every time we go down to the knees this time, we bring the weights together. And then we stand tall and they move apart. So we go down and stand tall. Go down and stand tall. Now on this one, you can add in a little squeeze. So as you move the hands away, think about giving your shoulder blades a little squeeze together. Give them the squeeze and release. And again, give them the squeeze and release. We don't often work those muscles in between the shoulder blades, but it's a really good idea to work them a little bit because those are our, our postural muscles. They help us to stand up nice and tall. So give them a little squeeze, give them a little workout. Okay, should we change the arms? So we'll take them up and bring them back down. We'll do that again. We'll take them up and bring them back down. So we make a point with the fingers, put a roof on our house. Okay, put the roof on and come down. Now we could alternate the arms, couldn't we? Let's go back to the first one. So we bring them round, take them out, put the roof on and down. Bring them in, take them out, put the roof on, bring them down. So this is a nice little combination of exercises. It's working the muscles around the shoulder joint, strengthening the muscles to support that shoulder joint. And of course, you've got the extra bit of resistance if you're using the weights. So it makes it a little bit harder for the muscles. They're working a bit harder and that will help to support and maintain your bone health. Last one. Wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> Should we bring the feet in? Let's walk the feet in, shall we? <coughs> okay, so the feet are hip width again. Uh, we'll carry on with the arms, shall we? So um, just keep the knees a little soft. Different arm position this time. I'm going to bring them up in front. So if I stand to the side, you can see the position I've got my arms in. So I want my elbows roughly shoulder height. We don't want to let them sink on this one. Okay, so we're going to start here, and all we're going to do is take the arms out to the side. Okay, keeping the elbows lifted, keeping them nice and high. Okay, now this little sequence is really good at toning those muscles in the arms, okay. Um, I did this, I think it was last week, with a group, and the next day, I couldn't believe how, how much I could feel those muscles, how much they've been working the day before, okay. So it's a simple, simple little group of exercises now, but they're really effective. Okay, so we take them out, and yeah, we can add a little curl, can't we, so we can straighten the arm, Curl the arm, bring them back in. So we take them out, straighten, curl, bring them in. Take them out, straighten. Now, you know, I'm trying to keep my shoulders down as well as I can. I don't want the shoulders to creep up to the ears. Got to keep them down really well. I've still got my belt on. I'm still trying to stand up nice and tall. Wonderful. Here's the last one. Should we lower the arms for a second? It's always good to just roll the shoulders around sometimes. Okay, let's bring them up again. So this time, let's straighten the arms out in front first. Take them round to the side. Then do the curl and bring them back round. So we straighten, take them out, do the curl and return. Straighten, take them out, do the curl and return. Wonderful. Now, the trick is, can you do it in reverse? So here we go. We'll take them out, straighten the arms, bring them round and bend. Take them out, straighten the arm, bring them round and bend. Now, can you start to feel it working in those shoulders now? I can. So I've only got a really light weight. 
I can feel those shoulders starting to work a little bit. Shall we leave it there and bring them down? Let's give those shoulders a nice little roll around. 